Hi everyone, it's Helen here from Body Work Pilates and today we're going to run through some of the footwork that we do on the bar. Now, most of the time when we come into class, this is where we start. We set our machine up and we start with some foot patterning work that will mobilise the joints around the toes, around the ankles, will mobilise the joint in the knee and in the hip and we'll start to just ease out any restrictions that we might feel through the, the back line of the body, so from the um, sole of the foot right through up until up to the lower back and glutes. Um, there are variations, obviously, depending on school of training or depending on um, how much time you have. Um, so there are there are variations, but this is what we do. This is what we do. So I lay myself down. So I'm going to start first and foremost on my heels and I've got my heels in line with my hip bones. Just taking a moment to establish an easy curved low back. So I'm slightly pressing my pubic bone forward and I want to notice whether the bar's too high and the bar's too low because that will make a difference. So we can change the foot bar if we need to. I'm going to stay where I am. Arms are just going to length, lengthen the side of the body. I've got length in the back of my neck. Can't see any of that but I'm, I'm just working with a good range and position. So I know that I have a tendency with my right leg to roll over onto the outside edge of my foot. So for me personally, I want to press out slightly through the inner edge of the leg, through the ball of the big toe. As I breathe out, I press away, keeping my weight evenly placed, and I breathe in to come back. So this is just our heel parallel position. I'm looking to fully extend the legs, and again, I'm being very aware of what's happening through my right leg. I know my right leg is the leg that's really going to cause me problems if I allow it. So there's my parallel position, pushing out to a fully extended leg and then back. And then I'm going to stay on the heels. I'm going to rotate from my upper thigh. So I'm not just going to drop my knees outwards. I'm going to rotate to bring my heels together. My knees come slightly apart and I've got this slight feeling of wrapping my upper thighs. It's going to work right up into my glutes and again I'm going to press away and I'm going to return under control so I don't just bang into the bottom of my carriage. Working with the breath, so I'm breathing out as I press away, almost like I'm blowing myself away from the bar and in as I return and once again I'm just being aware of where the weight is rolling to through the centre of the heel. Okay. Now I'm going to stay on the heel and I'm going to go slightly less elegantly, as wide as the bar will allow, but I've still got that rotation, and I'm pressing away, working as evenly as possible through both legs. As my legs fully extend, and I feel the slight tension of the springs increase, I feel a natural change within my deep abdominals. My body recognises that I need a little bit more support in order to stabilise my pelvis and stabilise the position of my lumbar spine, my abdominals, my pelvic floor, around my hips, those muscles that wrap around the waist and into the back, all start to naturally engage. But that's my wide V position. Now from here, I'm just going to go onto the ball of the feet. So I've got the same position with my legs. I'm lifting my heels and I'm pressing away as if I'm wearing really high shoes. And again, although you can't see it, my shoulders are relaxed. I'm not braced heavily against my shoulder stoppers. I want to work with full range of movement. I'm trying to make sure that both legs do as much work as possible. So one leg isn't doing more work than the other. Again, if I wasn't careful, I would roll over towards the little toe on my right side. And then I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to go to back to the center, still on the ball of the feet, heels together, toes in that V position, and I'm pressing away. So as I straighten my legs, it's as if I'm trying to bring the back edge of my inner thigh together. I've not just dropped my knees out regardless, I've added a rotation. So it's all in control. And then I bring it all the way back. I just come onto the ball of the feet. So I have an even amount of weight for the big toe to ball the little toe. I'm back in line with my hips. So toes, heels, 
hips and inner edge of shoulders as well if you like, pressing away. I'm keeping my heels high, so I'm working into all of the joints that I possibly can, opening up some length in the back edge of the body, warming up those joints, maintaining the position. And then here, I'm gonna press away, I'm gonna hold it out and do a little foot pedal. Now, if you know mat work, you might be familiar with foot pedals on the floor. I'm gonna press one heel underneath as I lift the opposite heel and bend the knee. I'm pushing away and then change. So I'm getting this little prancing effect, if you like. Clicky toes. Just looking, it's not a big movement, but again, looking to get as best I can good full range of movement. Noticing that my weight stays evenly placed through pelvis and feet. Feeling that little bit of a stretch that comes through the foot, around the back of the ankle and heel, into the calf. And then I'm gonna bend my knees, come all the way back and release. So that's just a little bit of the foot patterning that we do. And if you came into a reformer class, that would be most of the time where you started. Not scary, very smooth, very relaxed. So if you're interested in finding out more about the reformer, give us a shout and book yourself a free complimentary session. See you soon.